Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church. So we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in. And find a comfortable seat to hear the story of the Good Shepherd and the Last Supper. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Delighted to have you all here today watching from your homes or out in your backyard, wherever you are. We're happy to have you here to share with us God's story today. We miss seeing you. Can't wait to see you and give you big hugs once we're all together again at church. Let's sing together. Clap your hands, all you people, shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Clap your hands, all you people, shout to the Lord with a voice of praise. Hosanna, Hosanna, shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Praise him, praise him, shout to the Lord with a voice of praise. Now, if you have at least one other person that you're watching with, once you know this song, some of you know it, I'm sure. Once you know the song, you can sing it in a round so you can practice doing that. Let's do it one more time. <clears throat> Clap your hands, all you people, shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Clap your hands, all you people, shout to the Lord with a voice of praise. Hosanna, Hosanna, shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Praise Him, praise Him, shout to the Lord with a voice of praise. Terrific. I want to see you all sing it for me when we get, when we get back together. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we sing these words, we know that it's time to hear our story of God. So get yourself ready to hear our story today of the Good Shepherd and the Lord's Supper. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such amazing things that people began to follow him. But they didn't know who he was. So one day they just asked him and he said, I am the good shepherd. I know each of my sheep by name. And they know the sound of my voice. So that when I call them, they follow me. They hear the sound of my voice and I walk in front of them to show them the way. I show them the way to the good green grass
and they know that they are safe and that they are loved as they follow me. This is the table of the Good Shepherd. A special plate and a special cup are on the table. And this is where the Good Shepherd feeds his sheep. Many come to the joyful feast. They come from east, and from west, and from north, and south. And children come to the table too. They share in the bread and the cup of the Good Shepherd at this table. The Good Shepherd is still with us. And one of the special people of God comes to this table with us and says very special words about the bread and the cup. And all who are at this table share in the special presence of the Good Shepherd. people around this table have names. I wonder how the people feel about being around this table of the Good Shepherd. I wonder if you've ever been close to a table like this and how it made you feel. I wonder if you felt the presence of the Good Shepherd when you were near this table. I wonder if you've ever heard the words of the Good Shepherd who said that he is with us always, that we follow his voice. I wonder how many people can come to this table. And I wonder where this whole place might really be.
We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us when we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today about the Good Shepherd is in the Old Testament in the book of Psalms, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, <clears throat> and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Another part of the story we heard today can be found in the book of 1 Corinthians. That's in the New Testament, chapter 11. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now it's time to get ready to come before God in prayer. We're going to start today by singing the song that we sing usually at Vacation Bible School before we have our prayer time. It's called Into My Heart. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay, come into today. We're going to still talk to God all the things that we want to praise God for and thank God for and things that we might be worried about right now. But we're going to have some silent time. I'm going to say a line and I want you to either out loud in, at your home or in your mind remember that God hears us even when we are silent. So I'm going to say a line like we praise you for and I want you to respond, either within your heart or with your words, right where you are. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Thank you, God. Thank you once again for this time to be together as your church. We praise you, God, for... And we thank you, God, for... God, we are so happy that and sometimes I'm a little sad because sometimes, God, I'm worried about And please, God, I ask that you would be with all the people that I love, including
Help me to follow your ways, God, and show me how to love others and how to be a good neighbor. In Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. And now the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places all at the same time. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen.